What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here, back with a brand new ARK News video for you guys today. And guys, today we'll be discussing a couple of things. So, pretty much the devs, well, I mean not the devs, but like the community manager, Jen, has pretty much confirmed that they will be releasing new dinosaurs into the world of ARK. Now, we'll be getting into that a little bit later on, but we'll also be going over the community crunch. Now, this one is a couple of days old, but we thought we'd cover it anyway just for you guys, just to make sure you know what's going on. And we're just going to briefly go over it. So guys, Classic PvP has already been out. There have been some major issues with it, with people losing their characters and everything like that. So the devs have gone about uh, reissuing people new characters, new high level characters. And you guys can check that out on PC. It did roll out on console, but it was buggy as heck. And like I said, there were glitches happening and everything like that. So feel free to check the classic PvP out. It's uh, going to be different, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to it, but that's just me anyway. Now, that is all the classic PvP there is. You can see here the introduction of it, which was what was going on with it and everything that involves. Now, there was also a new console patch for those of you that play on PlayStation 4 and Xbox. And it pretty much just uh, fixed up some of the issues with Homestead that they didn't really uh, flesh out before they released it. Now, the big one here is that they added Homestead tech engrams to the boss dinos on Scorched, Aberration, and Extinction. They weren't originally dropping the uh, engrams anyway when you killed the bosses. As well as that, they've also fixed the dedicated storage where uh, the main one that was really annoying was the remove the function of the fridge as storage does not function as such. In the S Plus, it actually functioned as a fridge, so you could store like wyvern milk and stuff in there. They've changed that so it doesn't actually do that, and they've removed the mention of fridge as obviously it doesn't do that. And they've also reduced managmas into the ground a little bit more because why not? They're not uh, reduced enough, so they now take damage equivalent to flies as well. That was pretty much the biggest one there. Uh, Overraptors are now allowed into Aberration, as well as that added Hepsperona spawns to the desert and snow biomes on Extinction. Other than that, there's not really much else that was uh, included in this patch. You can see here more tech engrams to various bosses, so that addresses the Center and Ragnarok bosses as well. But that was pretty much it. Um, everything else is just kind of small little patches that work for bugs. Now, as well as that, the art community team have changed, so they've introduced some new people, and they pretty much just want people's feedback on certain things. You can see here, be sure to send your community ideas over to Cedric or Jen. Um, undermeshing concerns. This one was a real, real big one. So, as you guys are aware, like everyone who plays Arcs knows what's happened, Hod actually, Hod Gaming made a video about meshing, and he then got globally banned for it by Wildcard. And it was, it was, it was a big drama. So they've unbanned him, I believe, and they're looking at trying to fix the meshing concerns, which is going to take a long time, I reckon. Uh, code of conduct changes. This isn't really too crazy. Pretty much it's stuff against uh, official players and small tribes, specific rules. Um, eh, they don't really implement these rules too well. So yeah. Now as well as that, this is probably the most exciting thing about the community crunch. Excellent Adventure 4 is coming back and you can see here we've got some new colored dinos which is obviously going to happen. We've got some new helmets, uh, not helmets, like skins. I haven't actually seen those before so I don't know if they're going to be new. As well as that they're doing like a competition uh, where you can win 100 bucks. You can see here uh, three competitions, PC egg painting, console egg painting and real life egg painting. So that's pretty cool. So you can paint your own eggs and send photos of it to Wildcard and they'll eventually decide who has the best one and boom. Just like that, they've got it. And then the creature feature. So this guy's actually got some really cool videos. Be sure to check them out. But that is pretty much the community crunch. So, and obviously the evolution event, which has already gone and hit. Now, let's move on to a new dinosaurs. Now, recently, there was a tweet out by Dodo Dex. And you can see here, we've got it up on the page. It's been quite a few months since Ark has added new dinos. Reply with a photo of the dino or creature you think should be added next. Now, Jen is the community manager, I believe. Yeah, you go see there, community manager of Ark. Now, she replied to the Dodo decks with this picture. Now, these guys are relatively newly discovered dinosaurs that were discovered in South America and the herbivores that have gigantic keratin spikes coming out of their necks, which is pretty damn cool. And you can see in this little concept picture here that there's like a baby Tyrannodon or something that's actually on its spike. 
So Jen has obviously wanted these dinos into Ark. Now, what's interesting is if you come down a little bit more on the post, you can see here that we've got a person, King, replying to Jen and the Dodo decks. I beg you all, start adding dinos again. I miss the game being like that. Every few weeks or so, a new dino would come on and everyone would be hyped. Please start focusing on Ark a lot more, not in a horrible way. Which I can kind of agree with the dude because like when new dinosaurs were hyped and like they released the, uh, what are they called again? The Survivor Notes? The Explorer Notes with the dinosaur on them? It was really cool. Like it got me really excited and like it gave us content creators more stuff to cover as well. And you can see here that Jen actually replied to this guy saying, we won't be adding dinos every week now that Ark is released and not in beta anymore but there are things coming. Maybe not Mr. Mohawk here though, despite how much I request it. So she did really want these guys implemented into the game of Ark, but the other devs just might have disagreed with her or anything like that. You can see here these guys are called the Begidosaurus. That's, uh, that's a unique name, I guess. So yeah, there's um, quite a few things that they could implement. There's like tons of new dinos and everything, and we will be covering it. So, yeah, but we do know based off what Jen has said that they're hopefully going to be bringing in new dinos. It says there are things. So she doesn't really confirm there are dinos, but I'm hoping that there are. Um, so, yeah. Now, another really cool thing is that they could potentially be adding these dudes in. So if you guys aren't aware, PC obviously have mods, and one of the mods is the Ark Editions, the collection. Now, this mod essentially adds four new dinosaurs into the mix. You can see here the crocodile looking dude. I can't remember their exact names. We then have a raptor slash micro raptor involved. You can see there that is rideable and he's pretty cool looking. Uh, we then have a sea turtle, which honestly is pretty dope. And then like a piranha fish thing. You can see here, this is what they're called. So the Dinosuchus Deonychus. I don't know how to space say that one. Honestly, they look the same. The Dinosuchus is the crocodile. The Deinosuchius, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, is the feathered raptor looking dude. The Archaeon is the turtle, which you guys can see there. And then the Ziphophanctius, honestly guys, I apologize, is the weird looking fish dude. Now, these guys are in this one mod, and they are currently working on more mods. Cockatrice, Ignisiosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Gorgonospid, which is pretty cool. Now, I can potentially see these dudes coming into Ark. Main reason being is because they are one of the sponsored mods. So the sponsored mods are pretty much endorsed by Ark and the devs, and they pretty much, I don't think they pay them, but they give them like a certain amount of money to continue. And you can see here, Ark Editions is one of these sponsored mods. So it's heavily implied that these creatures could be coming to Ark in the near future. But we, we're not 100% sure yet because obviously nothing has been confirmed. As well as that, there are potentially chances of a new season pass being introduced, including the Crystal Isles map, which is similar to the way that they handled Ragnarok. So they released Ragnarok as a mod and then it was actually implemented into the base game of Ark, which I can definitely foresee them doing with Crystal Isles, just to keep their play count up and to actually keep players playing Ark. There are still a couple of other maps here in the sponsored mods that could potentially be included in the season pass. For example, this Anza Mythical Land looks really cool. And that is, could potentially be included in the base game of Ark. All I know is that they've got a very long road to cover and they do need to start implementing some new things. Otherwise, people are going to lose interest in their game, especially with this meshing thing going on on all the official servers. So yeah, they really need to start implementing it. But guys, that'll wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it informational. I tried to keep it condensed as best as I could and still relay all the information to you guys. So let me know if there's anything I can improve on or anything like that, as well as whether or not you'd like to see more of these videos. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soda.